the trash bin with those shades. <laughs> right. I yeah. see you, Mayor. How about that? Uh, with music blasting in the background, New York City Mayor Eric Adams, along with the Sanitation Commissioner, unveiled the new trash and recycling bins this morning. The city says the containers will keep city streets cleaner and will cut the rat population. So important. Just then. As you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to be really harsh with this one. When I was growing up, and one thing, one thing about my family, the building we left, lived in, my family were the superintendents of the building. And this was one of these old brownstones or what they call railroad car apartments. If you're not familiar what a railroad car apartment is, it is an apartment that's connected like a railroad road car. In other words, you got several rooms. You got, you know, you get, you get your front room, your middle rooms, and your back room. You can use it in any direction you want. You know, you, it would be a kitchen, dining room, or bed, or or a small bedroom, uh, master bedroom, and living room area. And it's all one after another after another. No door, no doors. <laughs> That's right. I grew up with no doors in, where I lived on there. I mean, I was in the secondary room on there. My parents were in the back end on there, and we had a nice living room. But see, the thing is, is as being superintendents, you know, one of the things you have to maintain the building, keep it clean, take out the garbage. And back then, when we used to take out the garbage, they were in aluminum cans. We would put it out that way. We would drag them out. Sanitation would come by and uh, basically empty out, throw them back onto the sidewalk. Uh, sometimes they get crushed by another car, get stolen, uh, you know, all various, in, you know, situations on occasion, you know, you get the rats and the mice that will enter in those cans, uh, to get food out of it. And that, and that was a normal basis. After a time period, when we went through a sanitation strike and things kept just piling up city, just New York city decided to, uh, stop using the can system and let just bags be put out because it was a little bit more efficient especially during the holiday periods or uh, during the summer when certain times you might have a little extra garbage to put out that's how it worked out for them you know yeah you had the rat situation on there and then as the years progressed then you got into people ripping into the bags for garbage not for food but they were looking for recyclables then the recyclables came in, and we sep we had to separate for recyclables, so that it just became one insanity. And now, present day, now we got to separate for um, food itself. You know, we got to put it under for you know for compost, which is just getting more and more ridiculous every day. Now we are reverting back. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. If you're if you're in the New York City area, and you're out, or for those of you outside the New York City area. We are moving back to putting cans on the on the streets again. Now, I'm on Staten Island. We're in the outer boroughs here. Anyone in the outer boroughs, homes and stuff like that, uh, we we already do that. We already put our own cans out. The situation, our our, our old location, that's what we did. Uh, we are in in the this new situation. Uh, we uh, actually we don't handle that anymore. We uh, the building attendants, or superintendent, as they say, uh, would handle that. We just bring it down to a service center, and uh, basically they put it in. They put it in their containers, and it's picked up by sanitation. But it seems like Mayor Adams, in his, you know, one thing about Mayor Adams, he's just doesn't know how to run the city of New York. I, I, I'm going to be. 
real hard on him on this. He does not know how to run the city of New York. I mean, he's already purchased garbage cans at $1,000 a pop. And he's bought a couple of hundred of them uh, to put on the streets of New York, which he could have bought similar cans to that at half the price or even lower than that. But now he wants, he's making it mandatory now through sanitation that you, the New Yorker, has to go out and buy these particular, not that you could go, you go to Home Depot or something like that. You had to buy these particular garbage cans from one particular company. And once it's situated, you are to put it out and that's it. They, you know, they said, oh, it's going to protect you from the rats and nothing like that. So we're going to read this off. And this is from the Staten Island Advance. Uh, that is the local paper here on Staten Island. Uh, here's what homeowners need to know about the New York, New York City's new mandatory trash cans. Owners of most residential properties, including all single-family homes and small apartments, buildings with fewer than 10 units, in all five boroughs will need to purchase mandatory trash cans as a new container containerization rule takes effect in November. Mayor Eric Adams' announcement of the official cans came as the latest push to modernize trash collection in the five boroughs, and he hopes to deal a blow to the local rat population, depriving them of a food source. Oh, shit! No, it won't. We have, we all have one unified dislike as those pesky New York City rats. They're getting more and more bold. They no longer run from you. They, the rats never run from you. Mice, yes. Rats, no. They just hang out and do just do what they want. We want to make sure we change that in a real way, Adams said Monday. We're ready to do whatever it takes to cut these rodents and mounds and mounds of plastic bags off our streets. After the mayor's announcement, the advance uh, SILive.com received a series of emails asking on how, what the Department of Sanitation is calling a NYC bin. So here's what you need to know. Starting November 12th, any apartment building with fewer than 10 units uh, including single-family homes, we will need to begin using the new official cans manufactured by North Carolina-based company called Otto. Now you're wondering who got really paid on this deal. Understand that, that they went with this particular company. There will be a grace period which the Sanitation Commissioner, Jessica Tisch, said she should last about a month, during which... Home and building owners will receive warnings if their cans are not in compliance. Until June 2026, 20, people who already own cans under 55 gallons with secure lids will be able to continue to use those bins, but will need to switch to the NYC bin after. Do you believe this fucking balls on this guy? He is making you buy these bins. You can't go out, you know, and, and I know... Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, True Value, all the independent mom and pop hardware stores are going to be screaming because they're going to lose business on a lot. They won't carry the bins like they used to. They will have to cut back on their inventory. That means it's going to harm the hardware store business. It's going to harm the home the home improvement business as far as that. Because you had your choice of cans. Not all these cans fit very well in certain homes. People have it situated. And the thing about it is, some people have built their garbage area where they, the, where they throw away their recycles on that. They may have created their own way of keeping it nice, clean, and all that. Do these cans fit in that direction? Probably not. Most likely not, because people have chosen the cans that they want to use. So let's read on on this. What if I don't comply? 
Well, here we go. Hefty fines will be in store for property owners who don't comply with the new trash uh, con containerization rules. <clears throat> a first-time fine will be $50. Second offense will be $100. And $200 will be the penalty for all subsequential offenses. The city recommends ordering the New York City bins by October 1st to receive them by November 12th. Kickoff of the new con containerization rules. How much would they cost? Well, currently the auto website lists two options and they're telling you to buy it from the company itself. Two options for its trash cans is that comes with lat latch lids, wheels, a metal bar for mechanized collect collection and a 10 year warranty. Most garbage cans have a 10 year warranty. Can't garbage cans like this fall apart all the time. The wheels, the latches, they don't last, you know, and these things get beaten. The lids are the first thing that goes on most of these garbage cans, no matter what it is, whether it's Rubbermaid or any other brand that you have. I've gone through a lot of garbage cans. The first, a 35-gallon container that holds about three kitchen garbage bags will cost New Yorkers $45.88. The other 45-gallon container, which holds about four kitchen garbage cans, will cost $53.01. Auto also lists the same size of recycling bins at the same price points along with a 21-gallon compost bin costing $43.47. Now they, they want you to buy their own co uh, compost bin before they gave it away free. While separating recyclable bins won't be, mandato be the mandatory, the city uh, growing curbside compost program requiring the separation of compostable materials from trash will begin on Staten Island on October 26. Residents will have to keep up, keep those materials uh, for at-home compost and put them in separate containers on their trash nights or drop them off at the official Department of Sanitation compost bins, none of which, which exists on Staten Island, south of New Springfield. Yeah, of course, they don't have this prepared. They, you know, they're just throwing this stuff at you. It's the same way with the electronics uh, disposal these days. They used to, for a while, they were picking, because of COVID, they were picking it up, you know, at your location home. Now, they want you to do what they did before. Now, see, on Staten Island, uh, you know, you, you the only place that you're able to do it is on the South Shore, which is closer toward the beach. Uh, those are our locations there. They don't do nothing for the North Shore. They said, if you want to throw away electronics, you got to go to the South Shore, you know, either drive. And, you know, there are elderly people out there that don't drive. They have to take the bus. So they have to, you know, put whatever electronics they want to throw away, the, t the old TV or VCR, DVD player, and take it to the dump, radio, you know, anything electronic. Reading on, the city selected Otto as part of a, of a larger company called Duramax. Holdings <laughs> as the manufacturer after a search began in October 2023 with three requirements. Cans cheaper than $50 in the most common size and availability in different sizes and manufacturing specification, including rat resistance. Let me put it in this perspective. Rat resistance, very difficult to handle. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, they might not chew into it, but they'll get that lid open. I'll tell you that for a fact. You know, if they can squeeze in the size of, what was it, about a quarter? They could squeeze in a hole of a quarter or smaller on there because they have no backbone. They're going to get into the little slot way from the top of the can. While the price tag may seem high for something New Yorkers are being forced to buy. Remember, you're being forced to buy this, ladies and gentlemen. Similar cans on the market can go for $100 and up. Yeah, it's the fanciness of it and the size. Here's the important part, which is messed up to the whole situation. What if my trash doesn't fit? Sometimes locals can have a bit more trash to, than usual after a party, other occasions, or just a busy week. According to the DSNY, if that happens, you're out of luck and will need to wait for another trash collection day. That means you're hanging on to your garbage that you cannot fit in your garbage can either or buy another garbage can 
or leave it inside your home for another trash collection day. And if that's the situation, you know, like some people will have it Tuesday and Thursday is their collection day. So it's going to stay in your home a, a day, but then you hit the Thursday and you have to wait too well over the weekend to come back into the next week to handle your garbage. That means they're telling you, keep the garbage at home. Well, that's going to bring the rats into the house, isn't it? The department includes this message on its fax page about the New York City uh, bin program. Property owners and managers should ensure they have su sufficient bins to accommodate all trash. Apart from the mayor's long battling war on rats, New York City's trash collection methods have been severely outdated for decades. While Staten Islanders might not be familiar with the trash takeout practices in larger boroughs, mounds of black garbage can bags can be found outside most buildings twice a week in neighborhoods across the city. No, actually, this one thing about this, depending on what neighborhood you're in, there are some neighborhoods on there, buildings like where I am, we do have, you know, tendency we will put out a lot of garbage. A practice not seen in most places around the globe. No, actually around the globe itself, <laughs> you see the piles and piles of garbage. The trash collection modernization has been some something of a cornerstone of Adams administration with businesses already being required to put their trash in containers and a change in takeout times. Now the question, why can't I use my old bin? Part of the modernization pushes the, includes the DSNY retrofitting or replacing of col collection trucks, adding mechanism tippers comp compatible with the new bins. According to the department, the upgrades will speed up collection times and minimize spills that occur with manual collection. The department also claims two workers will be needed to operate the mechanism, not affecting the workforce numbers. Oh, shit. That alone should tell you. That alone should tell the union. We're only putting two guys on the truck. So that's the way they're going to cut the workforce at the Department of Sanitation. They said, no, it's not going to affect the work. Bullshit. Don't, don't sell me something like that. To dispose of the old bins, place them upside down on recycling day with a note indicating that they are for recycling. What if someone steals my bin? The DSN9 recommends filing a police report. Oh, man. Filing a police report. But says the new cans will also have a space for New Yorkers to write their, their addresses. People are still going to steal it. I've had them stolen and I've had my address on there and my last name on the can itself, including my neighbors. Because my, at that time when I was living on the other side of the island is basically you had, you know, his cans, my cans, we both put our names on there. For them to say like, well, if you put your names on any, people ain't going to steal them. Bullshit. Now, for those who have more than 10 uh, your next, as according to this article, says, while the forthcoming requirement will be for any residential building fewer than not than 10 units, other residential buildings will soon face requirements of their own. Buildings with 10 to 30 units will choose between stationary on-street containers and small wheelie bins, and buildings with more than 30 units will need to use on-street containers, according to DSNY. This, where we are in this facility, we're, we're using a large container. I know that's what they put out, sort of like a, a big bin. That's what they do on a, on a basis here. But we have more than 30 units here. We're, you know, this particular building is very is not that large, but we do have a lot of units. But the thing, the thing is, is that this is the stupidity. This is a money-making situation for the Adams administration, number one. You know, what, what do they get out of it from Otto? No offense to Otto. But uh, what do they get out of it? That's what. That's my next question to the situation. The other half of this is the workforce. They said we only need two workers. Only two? Only two workers? Mm, no. For New York City, I don't know what they're thinking of. And, and I, I, as a union delegate, as, let me tell you something. Sanitation union, start screaming now. Because this ain't going to help the unions. If anything, that's going to be a cutback to you guys. If they only need two workers per unit, what are they going to do with the rest of the workforce that may be sitting around 
or told to stay home. But like I said before, this is not going to stop the rats. It's not going to stop the rats. If anything, it's going to drive them into stores. It's going to drive them into homes. It's going to, you know, Adams is not thinking straight to the situation. Here's what happened, and I'll tell you this. Look what happened during COVID with the rats. Did it stop the rats from looking for... It, they, it drove them into areas that they were never before in. Okay? Remember that. Because the restaurants were closed. You know, you had the situation. They were looking for food. So where did it drive them into? It drove them into the buildings. It drove them into, into the living spaces of people. It drove them into the businesses that were open at that time period. The supermarkets that were open in that time period. They just don't understand. The rats are not going to starve to death. They're going to look for food. To get rid of these rats, you have to figure out a way to reduce the population. Remember, the rats can birth a lot of, of smaller rats at one time. They're worse than rabbits. They will continue to breed. We already have programs around New York City, especially in Manhattan, where they use dogs to hunt down uh, these rats at night. They have groups that go out with these hunting dogs, and they go there. They need to expand that as well. Put more money into that. more hun- more money into trapping, poisoning, and you know securing these situations. Yeah. You can clean up as much as possible, leave things clean. It's still not going to stop the rat. Their instincts will drive them elsewhere. And then you have a bigger problem. If it starts to drive them into a lot of the buildings, you're going to have a bigger problem because they, they could end up biting a person, giving them an illness, especially children. Imagine he jumps in. And we've heard stories like this before where they've jumped into cribs in situations. You know, we don't need that. This is something that is stupid that shouldn't have been approved. We have these rat-proof containers already from various different companies, from Rubbermaid and on. Why do we need to buy these particular ones? Because they said because of the price point. There are price points in the $30 range, mind you. $30, $40 range that you can buy a nice size garbage can for your home on wheels mind you real nice but they're not going to tell you that see this is this is the corruption that we've been telling you that has been at city hall for quite some time so let me know in the comments below tell me your thoughts about this you know if you're a new yorker let definitely let me know are you upset that they're going to make force you to spend 50 dollars on a garbage can which you know you don't need to replace they're going to put cans, you know, back on the streets of New York again. The, you know, people, what's going to happen? You're going to have traffic problems. You're going to have situations. You're going to have people tripping over cans because the cans, you know, depending on how these, these, gar- these sanitation trucks take these cans in, it's going to cause an issue. Guaranteed. So let me know in the comments. Share this video. Hit the like. And, hey, is today the day you've earned your subscription please hit that subscription button on all of our social media platforms we do need the help to keep us going here so until next time thank you for tuning in thank you for the support and bye bye now thanks for watching commenting and sharing this video and if you haven't yet please subscribe as this helps the reach of this channel Finally, as a content viewer, you have the ability to help support this channel as new internet laws around the world will diminish our reach and affect our sponsors. If you choose to help, there are two ways listed in the description below. The first link will lead you to a pay site where you can make a monetary donation. The second will lead you to our gear shop where you can buy shirts, mugs, and other gear. Discounts will be listed on the site. Once again thank you for watching and your support.